for today's video I will be shooting the new CX bullets by Hornady 120 grain .264 6.5mm Creedmoor be shooting some lower velocity loads simulating long range flipping my blocks and shooting a high velocity load That was too slow. It's hard to tell from this angle, but it came in, tumbled, tumbled a second time as it was going out of the gel. You can tell because that tearing is only that two directional. That bullet did not open. It was traveling 1,559 feet per second. So we'll bump it up a fair bit here. Definitely opened up. 2,059 feet per second. And it shed its little red tip at approximately the inch and a half mark, and that's where it started opening up carrying your better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the three inch mark to 12 and 5 eighths where it carries some permanent wound cavity just past the 15 inch mark and the leading edge of that bullet is 20 and a half inches with the larger portion of that permanent wound cavity being two and five eighths Some of this right up here is from that first shot, but that's two and five eighths on that better portion. Of that mm -hmm. Decent mushroom. I don't think you should really move them much slower than that, although they would operate a little bit lower than that.
that one impacted the gel at approximately 2,803 feet per second. Sorry, let me read that right. 2,883. Yeah, that's starting to open up after about a half inch of penetration. Carrying the better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the inch and an eighth mark to nine and three quarters. Carrying some decent permanent wound cavity. Following the correct track, it's still carrying some past the 19 inch mark. The leading edge of that bullet is approximately 25 and a half inches. Larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is. four and a half by about five so decent overall performance decent with that velocity I really think all Hornady did was uh, change those relief grooves to be slightly more aerodynamic and put a heat shield tip in it because um, they're replacing the GMX line with these uh, they claim it's the most advanced monolithic bolt in the market and it definitely did a good job there so if they shoot accurately they definitely make a good hunt bullet. hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs>